Hi there, Eric from Global Comics, and in this video we are going to learn how to publish your work on Global Comics. So, my account is already created, I'm ready to go. I go into the top right corner of my desktop page and I click Publish. I'm going to create a new series, and then we're going to fill out this information. So, the name of this series is Freaks and Gods. And if you have multiple chapters, multiple releases, they'll all, uh, you know, be sort of published underneath this title. So you only need to do this once per series, right? So this is a comic. It is a sci-fi comic, actually, uh, in English. The original publishing year, I believe, was 2018. And we're going to say this is an ongoing comic, right? Reader settings. So this is a traditional comic. So we're going to, uh, you know, let the default setting stay. And if you're a web comic creator, you can, of course, select vertical scroll panels if that's what you'd like. And uh, the reading direction is left to right, but if you were making manga, for example, um, it would be right to left. And, you know, choose as what is best for your particular comic or title. Finally, with licensing and monetization, uh, you get to decide where, you, uh, where your preview content stops and people would then have to begin paying. So you can, of course, set a custom uh, wall of either releases or pages. Uh, if you set this, the first three releases of this, se of this series will be uh, free. In this case, we're going to choose the first 10 pages of each release. That way we can give our readers a little bit of a flavor of all of our releases without giving away the whole series for free. And there's only four installments for this particular series, which is why I might make that choice. So again, this is the uh, title. Uh, as Freaks and Gods, we are going to use the description as provided by 215 Inc. And then we're going to come down here. We're going to choose our themes. So we're going to choose Space, Superhero, Supernatural, Occult. You can pick up to four. And of course, we encourage you to be as descriptive as possible. That way people can find you. Uh, the Earth timeline in this case is not applicable. It is an all-ages comic. You can say that this is a Western comic. And there's no advisory flags. And we're going to put some titles in here. Let's actually just choose that. So adventure, fantasy, and indie comics. Great. Don't forget to save your changes. Now we are ready to create the release. So we click create the release. We then uh, name it. So this chapter is called Breadcrumbs in the Cavern of Death. We put in our synopsis as well. And there is no mature content, and if for whatever reason you wanted to make this particular release within the series free to read, this is the area to override and do that. Now, we're going to save our changes, and we're going to drag our PDF directly into this box here. Now remember, you can use PNGs, you can use JPEGs, zip files, whatever you may have, and we'll auto-format all of that for you into a thumbnail into something that's optimized for a mobile device and something that's optimized for a desktop reading experience as well. So while this is happening, there will be a little message here that says do not close or reload this tab uh, or this page while the upload's in process. So uh, just let this run its course. It's usually pretty quick. Uh, and But in this case, for the sake of our video, I am actually going to uh, go into the already uploaded version, right? So you can see that each of our pages that is free, uh, based on the setup we, uh, you know, had earlier, is going uh, is labeled with this orange tab here. If for whatever reason I wanted to make pages 11 and 12 also free, I would check their box. I'd come up to this batch action menu, and click Set Always Free to Read. You can now see that 11 and 12 are also free, and I accidentally dragged it across. But that is a good example of how you can reorder anything that comes out of order for whatever reason. Now, we'll go into how to set up Interactive Reader in a separate video, as that is uh, something that we encourage, but it's not mandatory by any means. We're going to save our changes, and then we're pretty much ready to go. The only thing left to do is if we want to have, and we should, have a cover image for our whole series, we can just click on this settings wheel here, click set cover image, we can have our crop here, of course, upload, and that is going to create the cover for the whole series. And now we are ready to publish. You can choose to preview it, which will pop up a new window. We can see it is all pretty and nice to read, right? 
beautiful. And then we can schedule it and publish it. So if I wanted this to publish immediately, I don't have to change anything. I just click schedule and publish. And if I wanted to publish it at a later time, a later date, of course, I just come in. I click the calendar. I pick, let's say, November 18th uh, at 1.35 p.m. And the time zone is going to be automatic, although you can adjust it somewhat depending on where, uh, which country you're in. Finally, uh, I can click schedule and publish, and it's ready to go. If I didn't uh, extend the time at all, it would be immediately ready for sharing, and um, that's pretty much that. So again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us or comment below, and we'll see you soon.